Okay, people. <laughs> do we have stuff to... Oh, do we have to approve the minutes first? Mm -hmm. We didn't do that. Um, it's got the, elbow the August 8th minutes are the ones that I was not there for, so... Mm -hmm. um, Oh, the one that I wrote on myself a note to find and, and didn't. And I make note. a motion that we <laughs> accept the August 8th minute. They're, they're, they don't exist. They don't exist. Oh, they don't yeah. exist. <laughs> <laughs> I still accept it. <laughs> <laughs> you accept, accept everything. They don't exist. Very accepting. Thanks to me. Um, I was absent for that meeting, and um, I was hoping someone would cover for Okay, I'm going to email it, myself. If, so, we'll, so, yeah, if you, I don't, this. do you have the, you know, I found the, the my notes. notes. Okay, awesome. So thank you. They're pretty sad, but um, since we do pretty much the same thing every time we're here, I don't think we are. Yeah, they find the minutes from August eighth. Is that what it is? August eighth. Yeah. Hmm. Send that to myself. So interesting. Do we have stuff from last time? Um, the the third and the seventeenth. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen those? They're in the shared folder, um, the draft minutes folder, um, which is a different folder, right? Yes, task force minutes, draft minutes. I I know I've shared it. I didn't get any in at past meetings, oh, but yes, I'm not an expert at it. Just traveling. Oof. So we're looking at the draft minutes under there? Draft minutes, yeah. I remember seeing them. Yeah. So the third and so October third. Mm. What are they? They're and they October seventeenth. Go ahead. Well, let's start with October third, I guess. If people have access to it and want to look it over. Mm -hmm. Off there. I know it was a whole thing. It's like, right? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it was nope. not. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah was? I thought I tried. Present and accounted for. <laughs> this is the October maybe 3rd one. There on. was another one that I was on the 17th. Okay, that is the funniest question oh ever. What's that? All right. I love it. It's like I have enough information about each school board member to make an informed decision. No, no. I want to run? No. No. <laughs> I know I don't know them, and I know I don't want to be them. <laughs> I know enough. It's a, it's like a whopping 81 percent that does not want to be on the school board. Okay. Do we have? Any? Yeah. Andrew, are you? But there's a lot of people that are well, adequately well, informed and aware of the okay. time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> do we have? Do they have access to minutes, or are we just gonna yeah? Get to um, we we can see the October third. Yeah. And they're pretty. I mean, there's nothing. I, I wasn't here the eighth either. I think that was when I was on vacation. This is October third. You were there on the third. Yeah. So I, but we sh should accept them. Roll it. That's. I agree. I second the motion. Okay, you want to say that? Aye. Yep. Okay. And then the other ones are the 18th? The 17th. October 17th. Yeah. I was not here for that. Oh, no, see. Oh. I move that we accept the October 17th minutes. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> running for a seat. That's yeah, a hard no. Not, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Okay, thank you. We're good? Yep. All right. We've got those two. So survey distributions. We were we stumbled a little on the um, community, and I don't know everything that's happened. Do you know? And you mean for distribution? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it was posted to the Facebook pages. Did it go up once or twice? Do you know? I think it's got up once. Because Mary had said, not Mary. Kate had said she would, I think, would go back in and do it again. 
Okay. We also got a flyer. Right? Yeah, yeah, the flyer got the flyer. Flyers around. So the flyer just had the, the postcard. Card. Yeah. yeah. My husband did his Mary, and it said it was closed. Posted the one that you designed the nine. The survey was, you know, you I finally got around to it and he did it, and at the end it yeah, said it's it's it was closed. Were you so using the same right now? round town yeah. device okay. by any chance? Nope, nope. Had, have we turned off the survey? Nope. It's still yeah. open. No, ah. we said that it was something. We said it would end on the 4th, but I don't think anybody said it, so it would go down. <laughs> right. Huh. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen that 68 change. In a few days. Mm. That's interesting. Um, I mean, it's too bad because, I mean, we could try another push. I mean, it, it seems like the people that took the time to do it yeah. were happy to be asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah. you know, I, I don't know where you get the sense, but that it, yeah. was, it was honest information. Now, I was realizing after the fact that um, November 5th would have been a good day to, like, have somebody outside mm. the polls oh. like, telling people to take the survey. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, well yeah. <laughs> I think any of us <laughs> wouldn't take that on by yourself. Oh. Yeah, you know, the last one that was completed was on the 5th. Huh. Yeah, so, so there's a lot in there. But, a lot of the community, the stuff that's in the community survey just sort of sits by itself. It's not connected to a lot of the other surveys. Yeah. I did update the school structures, and I took the community stuff and stuck it in there. I, I were parents, con were parents maybe confused okay. that they didn't think they had to do both? No, it was really it was clear. It said okay. on the, if you already did the family okay. survey, also please fill this out. It's okay. different questions. Okay. No, it seemed like these were community members because there was a real the conversation about wanting what information would you like and 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 you know, the perception that the communication was good within the educational community, but not to the community at large, and how could we get that out there? I mean, I thought all of that was really mm -hmm. honest and encouraging um, and positive. But, um, but yeah, 68 is not many. Mm. It's pretty discouraging when more than a quarter of the voters say they're not, they are not feeling like we're responsive to their <laughs> town's needs. What do I don't know, know that you can qualify that as a quarter. As a quarter of the ones that answered this. Quarter, How are you guys seeing yeah. summarized if, results? Yeah. You, if, if you go to the survey itself, other responses. Oh, they're they're responses. Oh, just doing it that way. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I can do that. And then you can I'm go looking to, at the Excel spreadsheet. Then you can look at it in sheets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you are there. Okay. Go ahead. Well, so I what I had hoped to do tonight is to share the report again. But the more that I write, the more I become unclear. Well, you shouldn't have to share it again. We should be able to view it, yeah. right? Once it's a doc, we can all. <laughs> Just make it go away. No, um, I'm having a ton of fun, but I, I, it is, it takes me forever mm -hmm. to write like a paragraph and a half. <laughs> when it's something that's in all the surveys, it's just funny. Mm. Anyway, um, but when I look at the, when I look at the uh, the outline from the beginning, except you know all the stuff that was around improving ed quality, opportunity and equity, um, history, the charge. I added the survey stuff. I need some other numbers, but all the questions about you know. Curriculum and technology and parent and community involvement and all those things, except for transportation and facilities, I have essentially finished. So, Andrew, I just need you and I need to just have a conversation about it because some of the I'm, I'm more than happy to do write those. It's just that there's so much of the history, institutional history. Mary, you may sure. have some too that I don't have. So. Um, I mean, I, then I can become, you know, gathering stuff for you, put stuff together right. to address that. But we, we can do that at another, I can give you a call for that. But, but anyway, so as I, as I continued to write, I realized, and I started writing notes to you and notes to myself, myself down the, the side, um, because in some, you know, we've talked about 
that uh, offering um, suggestions and, and um, recommendations. Hmm. And it's almost feeling, when I, well, when I was writing the one about um, folks wanting to be involved, but everybody at every level identified communication, and I felt, I felt like some of it was, and I wrote that, that, you know, are we talking about, the, when we say community, are people reading this as the educational community, or are they reading it as community at large? And I sort of, based <clears throat> on the responses, said, I think that he, this is how it, it went. Well, right, because um, we've made that clear here. Like, how we right, speak exactly. isn't how other we... <laughs> exactly. Right. And, um, and so, um, so when I was writing that, you know, that there were some really good suggestions, actually, in the comments. You know, centralized calendar. You know, just there were a couple of things that really sort of made a lot of sense. And then how to... And then there were a lot of questions in the community survey just in terms of how people preferred to get their information. Mm -hmm. And then there was a, a good list of the kinds of things people were interested in hearing about. So all of that, um, you, one could, could insert suggestions in that part of the report, or what we said we would do was to make it separate. So I'm still, and I was counting on you guys to put those together. So we can still put them separate. I just, every time I do it, I mean, and in one case, um, I even had written something before that I'm now looking at thinking that perhaps it's inappropriate to appear in the report because it's more of a, I definitely had my <coughs> educator hat on when I wrote it. It's like, oh, oh, under the outdoor uh, learning, this... Um, <laughs> Right, this first <laughs> sentence, um, I wasn't sure about how <clears throat> this, the, well, the second sentence. They host, however, three all-day outdoor adventure days. Yep. Should it be just they host or however they host or? Just give me the word however. However, yeah. Well, that's what I was wondering is just they host three all-day outdoor. Um, well, I'll have to go down and find that. So how do you want to do this? Have people had a chance? I can just walk you through it, and and we we don't have to. I mean, having you sit here and read it, it just seems crazy. But I can I can certainly ask for some things and ask for some guidance if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Yeah. yeah but first helpful. We only have the hour and a half, so we can you can read yeah. it if you want to read it. I mean, that would be helpful to me, but <laughs> we're here to read. Um, so back to the introduction, I did add some things there. I still have uh, some things highlighted, and I'm not positive why I have them highlighted, so I'll go back and figure that out. Um, I did ask, add, okay, on page is it two in blue there, People had, I think Emily, you had made that um, suggestion, which made a whole lot of sense. Um, the student and faculty staff surveys was how did we get this information? Were distributed in house. The family survey was distributed to families with students. And is this correct, um, Andra? Currently attending the WRUD class, we never got past that, right? Okay. Um, efforts to distribute com the community survey included postcard mailing with a QR code or paper copy request. Now here I'm asking, is this correct? Front porch forum? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, school websites? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't see have it. to go on the school website. So I think if the, the way you can say yes or that is because if it's on the Facebook, it has a feed on the website. It's not specifically on the website, probably. I can look. So you take that out? Yes, no. Let me really check. <laughs> Bring it up the website now. Seems like it should be there. Facebook. It was on Facebook, right? That's for real. Yeah. On October 22nd. <clears throat> and flyers posted in Bethel and Royalton. Were those, that was the way the community, did I miss I anything? never saw flyers, unless, but I don't know that I've walked around. <sighs> yeah, I, we don't go out much now in our lives. Yeah, Mary had put something together. Yeah, and, we put, and, and put, put a couple out. out so, but, okay. Huh. Where um, did they wind up getting? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I can check in with Kate. 
if you want more. So, yeah. Okay. Um, 76 middle school students, 80 high school students, 73 faculty and staff members, 100 families, and 68 community members responded to the surveys. So, <coughs> I, I just embedded that mm -hmm. in. Um, so what I don't have are um, the total number of members of each of those groups, so I can't, you know, mm -hmm. in much the same way <coughs> that Nancy just said. Well, that uh, you know a quarter of the town, but it's not a quarter. Not a, yeah, I didn't mean to say I a quarter of the town, but a quarter but, of the respondents. So, yeah. so that people have a sense. Yeah. Seventy-six out of how many? Eighty out of how many? Seventy-three yeah. out of how many? That kind of thing. Um, okay, you get those numbers. <clears throat> families. I don't know who has that. So I did want to add that. Um, the red is just my notes, outdoor experiential learning. I don't oh, yeah, you had some abbreviations in there that I figured this was still something you were... Mm, that's your oh, notations above of that. the surveys <clears throat> yeah. or something? Yeah, you know, in the maroon or whatever, yeah. <clears throat> Are you planning on still putting something in there about the outdoor experiential learning program? Yes, it's on page. Oh, here. it's Three. down below. Okay. Yeah. So the so other stuff will go away eventually. Yeah. Okay. Away. I'm not quite ready for it to go away. Um, yeah. Fair. So, well, let's just read this. Yes. And some confusion regarding what the study committee was really looking for when they included the outdoor experiential learning program in their report. The description was quite vague. I just read that just out of nowhere in the study committee may need merger study committee I'm going to add. <laughs> um, although three or four schools now have staff dedicated outdoor education, it's believed that some survey participated Participants interpreted questions about outdoor learning to be asking about a separate alternative outdoor program proposed by a study committee exploring a three-town unified union district that would operate schools for Bethel, Rochester, and Royalton. This proposal was defeated. This was a hard one to write because people are all over outdoor stuff. They want it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Our research revealed strong support for outdoor programming for students of all ages. When families of students at all levels were presented with the statement, I would like the high school to pursue the development of an outdoor experiential learning program that would provide students with rigorous place-based learning, their response was very positive. Mm -hmm. Then I talked about, um, you know, how they had, we had found outdoor educators are often difficult to find. WRUD had been fortunate in their ability to find them and also to combine their teaching responsibilities with other content areas. And then I explained them. These came from the people who run those programs. Um, the blue is what um, someone gave me. <laughs> Mary knows who gave me that. But anyway, it's more that I wanted to include, so stop. Um, then Bethel. This also came from their educator. Middle school also came from their educator. I mentioned the transferable skills, which uh, is a state required document. It's a, it's a requirement. And I wondered if we should add a link to what that, that should be on a nice, mm -hmm. a nice chart somewhere. One would think. Do you want me to do that? Or embed it in the report? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to gather all, I mean, that's, even with us giving the reports and the responses to the board, you know, the more that we can have all in one spot. Yeah. It should only be one page. I'll take it. I'll find it. Emily, do you have it someplace that you can send it to me? No, I can look for that quick. Yeah. Andra, do you have it? I'll stop going around the room. I'm, I'm not. I'm duck, just, duck, I'm being a duck, okay. duck, goose. So this is jerk time, so I won't find it now. <laughs> I can find anything. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's actually going to be a very easy one-page document situation. 
what I just okay. found. Do you but... link to AOE or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Are we okay so far with what's in black? Well, no, I lost my tab. <laughs> okay, I can pull it up here. Yeah, I've, I've got it on. Yes. Here comes something you had a question about, Chris. That has no formal outdoor program. They, they host, oh, to take the however out? Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, it's good. I like the middle school also has like a winter wellness program that is. Well, so, wait a minute, anyhow, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I know. It's all, it's all good. I don't think that's really outdoor <coughs> education. Their adventure days. Oh yeah, you're right. So is this not accurate, or my no? No, I think you're you are right. What you wrote is accurate. I just don't think that's no. What, what she's saying uh, is it's more to get kids just out outings. and moving it's awesome. and yeah, exposure yeah. to yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it is lifelong accurate. I mean, like what you have is accurate. Yeah, okay. and that is what they have currently. Um, yeah, what I intend to include is just what's in black. What's in blue is what I got. Okay. They're not so going out and doing dendrology. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, we all get, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Um, An invasive species or whatever. Mm -hmm. Lots of, you know, more outdoor and hands on learning, really, at all levels. So, this dropout rate piece, this is also all over the map. I need to, to try to get it in How some kind of it? order that makes sense. Um, yeah. We don't have access to the dropout rates from pre-merger, and the agency stopped calculating them. I thought all that was very interesting. Yeah. And so why? So I went with the graduation rates. Um, I'm talking with Jamie that the one that's not available is 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 a a percentage that's being challenged because it makes absolutely no sense and it would be alarming. <laughs> So he wanted to pull the whole chart. I'm going to talk to him about not pulling the whole chart, but just making that sell. That information was not available. Um, and if I can get the 2024 in there, I will. Wait, um, what is the four-year rate versus the six-year rate? Explains the cohort for you. There's a four and a six. On time versus. Well, oh, oh I got it. On later. time versus a few more years. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Please let so me I, know. So the, so if the four year rate is eighty three percent and the six year rate is eighty six, those other three percent graduated within the next two years. Is that? It's the idea. Say that again. If the four year graduation rate was eighty three percent and the six year was eighty six, that other three percent graduated one or two years later. Yes. Okay. That that makes sense to me. So eighty six percent of the original. And then the whatever. state the state um, for comparison is over. They're still in a cohort somewhere. They so we're right in the, right around the one the they state went and through with right. the state average. So they graduated. So. <clears throat> is there a reason it says W R V S U and not right. RUD? Oh somewhere because I know I noticed that the only high yeah. school. Um, that's how it's reported, but you only have one high school. But doesn't some I of the towns? Change it. I can change it. It doesn't. Does it include like Sharon and oh, if they go to if they go to our high school? So it really is red. It's not SU. Yeah. Because there are plenty of kids well, who go to like good. Hanover or whatever Thetford, different places. Let me tuition out. This would be just the high schools that are in this SU, which is only one. Right. But right. we have. Towns within our SU that have choice to go elsewhere. Right, right. They, sending they, towns. They, they or whatever, yeah. counted unless okay. those kids go within our. To school. what? Yeah. Okay. So I can change that. And in the future, like then somebody was starting to oh, diploma just, program. The, the TDLs. I'll double check, but I'm sure the professional. Because I remember when I wrote it, it caught me, and then I thought, well, there's only one high school, so that's why, because mm -hmm. it reported as, as an SU. Um, so, so I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. Uh, did you already? You may have mm. already said this on WRVSU year 2021 and 2022. Are those numbers flip flopped? Because right. the four year rate is higher than the six year rate. 
which I seems impossible. No, they're not. Um, okay. Maybe what maybe you I'm, know you asked I'm, me that, and I said yes. So maybe I'm, I honestly maybe I don't know for sure. Maybe the eighty six percent is of the is remaining eighty six percent of the seven that didn't do it in the four. Right. Yeah. Is there a compelling reason to include the six year rate? Like, can we just look at the four year can rate? We get eighty six percent of seven guys. people. I, I thought the six year was, was oh. kind of confusing anyway. Yeah, I don't really understand I, it. I, mean, I understand why they want that rate and why schools would want that rate. But. Somewhere above this, and maybe it was in your opening paragraph, I forget. Um, when I'm, I'm reading the flexible pathways and I see where it says um, pre K um, to 12, well, somewhere up above it only said K to 12. Yeah. Okay, hold that thought. Okay. Uh, we'll Andrew, do you have a sense about whether the six-year graduation rate needs to go in there, or should we pull it out? I don't have a sense. It's not, it was not identified in any way in the original article of, I mean, of agreement. Yeah, so, I would say get it, it out. And dropout rate was what they were talking about, which is no longer calculated. Right. Yeah. Um, well, may I ask? Let me check with why it isn't. Mm -hmm. Why isn't the dropout Rate calculated. I think they just decided state to thing. take a positive action. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. Successful, some, so sometimes, right, some, <laughs> you're, you're only as valid as the data that you present or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, right. In theory, the six year, it makes sense to include it just to know, like, yeah, the there are some. Actually, but I, I don't understand but it why is, it would be lower. Yeah, yeah that's, it doesn't make we sense. We have to understand it if it's going to be in there. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask because um, let me ask this other thing too around six year. And especially this 2023 one, we don't even know the four year rate yet. They're telling us that 93 percent no, have do. done the six it's year. The wrong one. Yeah. And it, that's why I need to talk to Jim. Yeah. He doesn't want me to plan. Um, so I did find on the state data dashboard that they have. Mm -hmm these numbers up there and they have it for the previous schools as well in previous years. So we can find that. Like Wickham South Road. Right. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> um, I'll send you a link that okay. has uh, to the state data dashboard <laughs> that has that you can use to sorry. get the data for okay. the previous yeah. schools. Is that the new got, that dashboard where that just it. came out? What's that? Is that the new dashboard they just launched? Uh, I don't know. I think it's been around. That may be oh. where I got this information. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Because um, I got that, I got it right out off the agency. They're launching a new uh, you have to go. dashboard widget that is... is um, I think it's launched. Is it? Well, exactly. yeah, they were... Well, I had a facilities meeting, I don't know, a month ago or so, the middle of last month, and it's directly related to the all the the studies they did of all the buildings in the in the state and everything and how what what each one needs and stuff it's it's actually a quite in-depth um, yeah tool. this was this was one where, where you but the, to get this information <coughs> you have to select the year yeah. and the su yeah that's what i got okay so, and then uh, i would take those numbers you're happy to double check to see if right, i tra no, no, transform right. them correctly I was why don't you look up 2021 and see what it says no i was just trying to get to the previous schools but when you have white river valley high school selected it only goes back to 2019 or 20. right yeah. yeah but if you select a different school that is older then it lets you select It'll, a year and then you oh can yeah you'd have to go to uh, whitcomb or south river right. but whitcomb so it has dropout rates uh, on whitcomb yep Oh, gee, many Christmas. So that's a lie. Right, because we merged. So <laughs> but, but it's only going to start from when. But we then we're asking people to compare dropout rates. Well, it has the grad graduation rates, too. So it has graduation rates. I'm not sure. It looks like back till 2008, maybe. Um, Aish. Aish. So it's got All right. rates and then. Well, let rates. me see. <clears throat> Okay, I will go back and recheck. Yeah, no, I've got that dashboard. It's on my, I'm tabbed. What's a hornet? <laughs> Always a hornet. <laughs> it just didn't even occur to me to look there. Yeah. Um, for that, to, uh, to look at Whitcomb. It looks like. No, is Whitcomb even in there? Because it's in the W's. 
It is, but it doesn't show when you have 2022 selected. Cause you have to go to a exist. previous oh. year. So it didn't so like gotta, jump out at me and no, I didn't see just, it. Yeah, yeah. Go to okay. a different school, go to select 2018, then, then it'll show up. Come. And the South Royal one's under South Royal Elementary. <laughs> so. Okay, new dashboard, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. We um, got history, Suzette. We got your back. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't see any. All right. I will get that because um, I think this is pretty important. I'll get that all straightened out. We're almost there. but So then I ended up seeing we do not have specific evidence that speaks to this success. However, research tells us a student's sense of belonging and value play a key role in engaging students positively in their education. The opportunity to participate in setting the path their high school education will take is also very important. Please see the flexible pathways and student adult relationship sections for more data related to this topic. That's where the student sense of belonging is in the student adult relationship. I can take that out. That's that's my superintendent hat on. But they're all related. And there was some pretty, it was pretty interesting data around the sense of belonging piece. Yeah. Um, Is this the, the part of like every student having an, ad, like an adult mm -hmm. in the school? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And is this the only place that's mentioned? Because I feel like it was powerful. It was. It's in there. Okay. It's in there in, 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 there. in another place. Well, let's place. see if it's enough, okay. but it, it was. Okay. Didn't, didn't we do it in the staff and the student one? Yeah. I, I think, think so. Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. So personalized, I think most of the flexible pathways I had this in here um, the last time we met. Before yeah. we move on from just on that paragraph you just read. Okay, sorry. You said we do not have specific evidence that speaks to this success, but I'm not sure what this success refers to. Well, what I was trying to say was um, that these are really good numbers. These are at the state level and in some cases higher. Okay. And we don't have specific. I, I can change that sentence so that's a little bit. Yeah. So um, maybe just a sentence before that's clear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's what I'm after is just to say I don't know, but we people should figure it out. But you do have, you know, kids being able to engage in a sense of belonging is there is research that says that, and there's we have a whole bunch of information about what they have. For opportunities, and we haven't, and we did look for information about what the relationships were like and their sense of belonging in the schools. So, so I added that note about this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Um, and then that's why I directed people, but I'll get those closer together <laughs> so they're not going six pages now. So. Mary, I just I feel awful about this makerspace. I am having a really hard time figuring out. I get different versions from different folks about how it's used and integrated. So I need you, I and mean, I can talk about it, but Maybe. it needs to be represented here and needs to be represented properly. So what Andy you sent to right. you? Did Andy Andy sent you information, and then Pierre sent you information on the makerspace? Is that it? Because I remember Andy emailed you with a description. Is that what's here? Yes. This okay. is this is Andy's. I believe I can go back on my email, but this is Andy's because Pierre's was very. Um, yeah. It wasn't enough. That's why I was looking for <laughs> Andy. And is this too detailed what Andy provided? But are you want more of a generalized? I want to know what not what they're do what how people are how how is this being integrated or how how do kids get to access it? I mean, it's an awesome opportunity and it's the kind of hands on things people are asking and it's a step that the district has made toward supporting that. So mm -hmm. how do kids get? Is it just you know do it's a work teachers? in progress? Yeah. So it's give under, me it's not give me two sentences on what yeah. your goals are around it, that this went in, the goals. This part. you could, you the could goals. just say that this is, it's housed here and grant funded or however it happened and the goals of, you know, when it's fully integrated, this is what it will look like. Okay. Okay. That'd be fine. Okay. So cruising on down here. Oh, Nancy, add question mark. Where? Just add it. <laughs> I. Did you put it in? Huh. 
I don't even remember making the comment. Where where are you? I am on page spot six. Flexible pathways. Hmm. But I don't see where you highlighted. Yeah. That's the question mark at the end. At the end of the vinyl printer. Yeah. At the end of what? The vinyl printer. Oh, it's the vinyl printer. Okay, oh, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, Got that it. Question I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to mark that result. Okay, at six oh nine today. Yeah. Well, why is it so? <laughs> all of this stuff was um, I got from the individual folks. The community-based learning in the community survey. There were a whole bunch of other partnerships that I didn't know anything about. So I'm going to go back and look at those carefully and see how to get that. I'll get that in somewhere, not probably this section. Just that there are plenty of folks that are interested in doing something. The Senior Capstone Project, that's new since the last time we, um, mm -hmm. we met. That's page, what, seven, eight. Uh, expanding the blended learning might be like have an example of what that yeah, I assume it's doing two pathways at once, combined into a single thing. But. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Where? Uh, under like, the first paragraph of flexible, flexible Pathways at White River Valley High School, I think is where I'm seeing it. I don't know where Right, so blended it. learning, they do go into details on what each of these are down. I do. Each one of those is spoken to as we go down. Yeah. Right. But the blended learning is just... It's blended learning is simply taking advantage of as many patterns as That's what possible. they told me. Yeah, so, so let's get more information as to like an example of what that means. You know. Oh, I so see what you're saying. So I can say, so you could be doing it. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> All right. opportunities two different things I think that's what it yeah okay yeah. and then maybe working with what you were thinking about in the community somewhere I feel like blended learning is just another word for flexible pathways okay. but like right. I, I don't and know why we're like well, <laughs> but okay. that's all good blended learning if you ask me what blended learning meant outside of this context I would tell you something entirely different so and, that's what I was expecting yeah. when I spoke to the person I spoke to. Boynton? So I don't know if, I, I, I don't know if he's, because he's new, whether that's what he's interpreted blended learning to be, oh, the new or whether or not it, that's oh, not really what it is. So I'll go to the bottom of that. Blended learning being like the flipped classroom yeah. as well. That's what I think of. Yeah. Like so the Khan ask. Academy at, yeah. in, at night or in the day. And, yeah. 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 It sounds like learning. See. What it's describing here would sound like you know you're doing an independent study that involves community-based learning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Combining them into a single right. Take thing. your independent right. project out to some other area. Right. The, yeah. Right. Having an example. Kind of, yeah. kind of the same with expanded learning. Exactly. Yeah. Like, stretch, it's stretch. Just all learning. Fine, but like, <laughs> is it supposed to be? You yeah. Know, what's the idea? Of how it's going to be? Just expand. Okay. <clears throat> and then I love this. <laughs> Expanded learning has now been clearly defined and is in the development stage. That's code for we have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People out. see through that. Sometimes I think. Take it out. Yeah. Either that needs to be more clearly defined or. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Right, which uh, one? I, mean, I messed up. Which one? I think <laughs> kind of both. If, if my interpretation of what it probably means is like that students would get extra support to go beyond what the is happening in class. Yeah. So like yeah. You know, like maybe we could just spell that out, but we haven't figured out exactly how that you know, <coughs> our plans to do this, but depends on what your population is and what kind of learners they are and you know you look for right, something I mean, extra like the, the point of the flexible the pathways is to give 
people the opportunity to do these yeah. things. Yeah, so you have to look at who you have and go from there, right? Right. So it changes, might change every semester or every year. You want to accommodate whatever the population is, how to go about it. Yeah, I think of it as being something going on in the regular curriculum that, that strikes somebody's fancy and they want to take it farther. But that's just a stab in the dark. Um, you know, I think one thing that might be worth clarifying is how many of these things are new initiatives and new mm -hmm. opportunities versus things that existed that were pulled onto the flexible pathways umbrella. Because you know we had um, community-based learning, which I think has been expanded some, but that were available before the merger. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Talking about early college and some of those in the students went out and were placed with businesses and. Helpful. I'm not exactly sure how much it's changed since. Yeah, the BTVLC is new, I think. Right, that's really new. That's about. Well, and the flexible pathways that that was that's in statute. Right. So I have to go back and look well, when that actually I mean, I know came that we forward. Have the flexible pathways coordinator. That's a new position. Right. That is to like kind of oversee and and coordinate students doing independent things and these work. Right. Where we didn't have that before. Whereas we did have a work based learning coordinator who would do the job yeah. placements and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. I feel like had the technical program offerings changed? I feel like when Whitcomb was Whitcomb, we always just went to Randolph. But did we have the option to send students to Hartford? It's not really that simple. If they already offer a program, mm. you can't access it. And oh, I don't okay. think we had a lot of other, a lot of, we didn't have a, necessarily a bus set up either. That was probably the other barrier. Whereas there is now just a bus set up. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, that's what I get out of reading the description bus. was it's, yeah. it's not that straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it seems you can't like necessarily just pick Hartford because you want to go to Harford and yeah. have a similar program. It has to be a different program that's not offered at RTCC. Gotcha. It might be that, yeah, it can't be offered to the one that you're supposed to go to, but that you might be able to make a case that if it's a half-day program and they can someplace else things. rather than it's a full day, right. then you yeah. can access it someplace mm -hmm. else. Um. Okay. They have cosmetology down there. Or something. I can't remember. They do. I think they're more. They have like a laboratory tech program. Oh, they do. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've got just a couple. Actually, of one of the things in the technology, which is new. That's what I was up. in my real life. Um, mm -hmm. And you didn't get there was a real call. There's no classes at the high school level that are about coding or, you know, real tech skills. Sure. And um, and so there was a suggestion to add those. You know, also as a way to keep kids at the high school rather than, um, you know, investing in that rather than having kids um, go to the tech school, which I think is fair. Uh, Did um, Wickham have a capstone thing in place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they did. Before they Gateway. Yes. Well, was that, that's right. Was, was that the senior thing? Right? It was every year. Yeah. It was every year. Was it? Yeah. It just got bigger at the end. There was yeah. cows being around. It was big. There were <laughs> cows. Yeah. Yeah. I have like a piece of metal that someone made. It's, it's now it's a welder. Which people is cool. redid oh, yeah. cars oh, yeah. How for you it. That thing? Yeah, you probably hate that thing. Sorry. No, it's <laughs> it's right. on over. Door stop. Yeah, exactly. Every, anybody that's been through your room knows that your door stop. Bang their leg on it. <laughs> Shin splitter. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Marcus. 
Yeah, because somebody did like, um, was it, I don't know, it might have been Justin, I don't know, was it Meryl? One of them that he did a whole plumbing thing. and It wasn't Justin, oh, it was the mentor. Yeah, it was, um, it was Taylor. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 It was in the gym. Yeah, I remember yeah. they used to set up for it. It was the bigger deal for the seniors, I think, by yeah. the end of it. But it did kind of grow. But yeah, it. I forgot that it built on itself. I'll yeah, just remember this. I think that was only a year or two. So. so. Okay. We still making progress down here. Where are we? Mm-hmm. Where are we? Um, college opportunities. I think I did most of this before. <clears throat> I redid the chart so it took up less room. Yeah. And then I'm trying to get the information about the middle school. I've got all sorts of about what they've got going for clubs and um, Are we adding competitive video gaming? Yep. It's like me learning of this in real time as a middle school teacher. <laughs> okay. Human geography? Yep. I mean, I look at this very difficult um, paragraph. Well, no, I think that does belong in the report. Again, you know, what belongs in recommendations and what doesn't, but this is what STEM technical ed and um, outdoor and foreign language and outdoor programming, that was those four were cop popping up at every level and every survey and every, every, every. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Good with that? I don't know where people are. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's worth saying, like, we have tried to offer Spanish. Like, it's not for lack of trying to offer mm, Spanish. Yeah. Like, we can't hire that teacher. And I don't know if, like... Right. It would, I don't know how to indicate that, but it seems like like we would love to have a foreign language person here, any language. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think that's important that you've initiated the, you know, at least trying. Mm. That the circumstances don't allow it. Which are complicated, I guess. Mm -hmm. but. ADM, Average Daily Membership. Are you down to that point yet? Mm -hmm. There's the beginning there. of a sentence. This oh. count is taken annually on October something. It's, in, it's right. It's a very specific. It's, a, it's yeah. an yeah. date. Or it might be a series. Oh, of, it, it might but be it's, over the it is there? It's not showing up on my iPad. No, it's not. It's not there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Now I, it's a, I, have to, it's, I have to fill in the blank. I couldn't see the blank before. Oh. <laughs> it was in the chart, <laughs> lined up nicely in the chart. So there is a discrepancy in the ADM numbers. I, I got ADM numbers from Ray. I got them from the state. They don't match. Um, Who now, player? there's a question of whether or not his numbers had pre-K in them, um, mm. because I do, do not believe that these do. I did not leave pre-K out on purpose. So we're trying to get to the bottom of that because this is this is not right. And I had added enrollment because I thought that that was easier for folks to get their heads wrapped around. Um, 
the ADM is in there because that's what is specifically referred to in the Articles of Agreement. Um, so, yeah. So I'll get this cleaned up somehow, figure out what we're doing there. Um, excited and engaged staff. I think that this is um, new. I have to say the sad part about that last sentence, generally speaking, families seem satisfied with the level of enthusiasm and engagement their students experienced in the Rudd schools. The number of folks that said that they did not know was mind-boggling to me. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Don't they talk to their kids? So here comes the stuff you were asking about, how they think, Aaron. The okay. students have close relationship. Mm -hmm. mm, right, yep. <clears throat> mm. Character strong is weirdly one word. Sorry. Um, it's italicized. It's the program we use in the middle school. But it does look annoying, so. Which word? So it's uh, character strong. It's a program, and it's actually one word. <laughs> but oh. with, I think, but I'm double checking it. That's how we always spell it. But the way it looks... Character strong with the C and the S capitalized. But yeah, no yeah, that is how you do it. Right. Smush together, but with a I'll capital S. It's right. like a, yes. you know, trademark situation. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That is, it's the program that yeah. the elementary and the middle school use. Oh, really? Did the elementary start using it? I, I think so. They huh. do something along that. There's a character trait in a mm. curriculum around it, yeah. Oh, I think that's different, but mm. I don't know. could be the same. Yeah, it's similar anyway. Same deal, yeah. You know, Andrew, I didn't say anything about the elementary schools here because we didn't have any. She left. And she left. <laughs> she <laughs> snuck out on you just oh, now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slipped out. Talking to myself. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just realizing that that's missing because we didn't have anything in the surveys. But I can talk to her. I, I don't know if this is the appropriate place to do this, but like the I just highlighted the like our morning advisories, mm -hmm. where it says we some concepts are drawn from character strong to contemplate. I don't think that is an accurate statement. They are compatible, but they're not. Like we've been doing that for six years, and we just started doing character strong. This oh, past positivity year. project. That's what the elementary is. Yeah, right. <clears throat> um, well, that came straight from the horse's mouth, so I don't. <laughs> I know that's why I hesitate, it, but. Awesome. No, welcome to fix it. Maybe what you could say 
is, you know, they meet in advisories, small groups within the month to start the day. We are currently rolling out the Character Strong program. Well, we do Character Strong, but it's just that's separate from our advisory program. Like, we do it in the afternoons on Fridays, and, um, like, it's just a different... I would, it, so it, do you do it with the, in the... In advisors, yeah, 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 we do. I, I it's mean, just right. not every morning, but that's, right. it's fine. It's like splitting hairs, but... Advisories are every morning, but... Correct. Character Strong, we do once a week on Fridays in the afternoon. I can, I can try to make this not take... I don't think... Um, I think the like feeling of it is correct. Just maybe it's like not technically accurate what we do. So if I can try to like wordsmith. in there for now and then I would just reorder things maybe there's a lot on character strong and so much of the advisory student-centered activities and things like in that. character strong I mean an advisory yeah it seems like there's a lot in this paragraph about character strong and I, I think know. about we advisory like and how much you all have so. developed <laughs> outside of that, I don't right? want to put too much yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even though it's like filling, it's filling a need, but like I think our advisory strong is really, our advisory program is really strong, and character strong is just one little piece of piece it of that's it. not actually functioning as well as the rest of it. So I hate to tie the two of them too closely together, for fear of one getting thrown Do your advisories out. Advisories have a curriculum or a handbook or anything. We have guiding principles that in the slides that are. Like posted at the start of the slides every day. But mm -hmm. they developed with Tarrant Middle Grades Institute. Absolutely, yeah, through an action research project years ago. There's specific information about middle school and high school here. Is there, gonna, is there anything to say about the elementary schools in regard to the closer relationship with one adult? I mean, I, yeah, I just wrote myself a note. What are the elementary schools doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll get I mean, that in there. I think it's basically their classroom teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They're with that classroom teacher all day, almost. Mm -hmm. And the guidance. Oh, no, they switch. Elementary yeah. guidance. Yeah. 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 Depends. Yes. This is pretty strong. Yeah, it, it's it's school specific too, though. That mm -hmm. one, yeah. So this where I get into trouble here. Middle and high school students who were surveyed also reported they felt overwhelmingly positive about their sense of membership of the Wildcat community. Conversely, there was considerable, vari considerable variability around students' sense of value to their school community. Yeah. So that's quite low. And so what I have, this is when I have my superintendent hat on, and I'm asking if it's not certain this is appropriate. Um, this suggests a closer look into what the students were considering when responding to those questions. Are we doing a good job addressing individual student needs but need to develop more opportunities for them to have a voice in their day-to-day -day operations of the school? Is being a member of the Wildcat community linked primarily to inter-school competitions? 
students can help answer these questions and clarify the discrepancy. And I can make that much shorter. But I also think about that as being sort of a recommendation that this is, this is, this is something, but I don't know what, what it is. Mm -hmm. It might be nothing. Mm -hmm. I think it's something. And, I, and my bias is screaming in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you've provided the data here, yeah. Yeah. So I can, yeah. which Let's which I think that. makes it, for me, that's great. I can look at the specific chunk of data you're talking about, and and and, and you know, yeah. come to my own conclusions. You know, I mean, but I could put the, it's helpful the data to have your from perspective the Wildcat well, community, but it was very high, so I just generally said overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. I'm add that, but. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think this is the data that you think is kind of questionable and like what does this what does this point to you know and I was able to break it down by mm -hmm. um, grade level which is interesting I mean I get the six and the nine <laughs> you know. mm -hmm. but the eight I don't get unless it's just age Y and the 11 C are the 10th graders and the the t I always characterize 10th graders as being, they're the organizers. They that's certainly the, that's were last crazy year. year. That class is a very strong class, too. Yeah. So, so, just is. And then by 12, they either have one foot out the door or they're heavily into tradition or whatever. But they would. Well, you know, it, so anyway, it's, just it's like how many, mm. who's, who's in each think, class? Yeah. How do they well, This is also the mesh. This is a huge class, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have a, they're small classes, so you don't have a, a large database, you know, to. Yeah. So you have 10 go getters and the rest aren't or whatever. I think there's also like oh, the quiet can, right, or a bunch a of quiet little of church mm -hmm. mice, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's just suggested. It, I think it's interesting, though. Never. Yeah. Well, it's in the section of close relationship with at least one adult. But a student feeling valued or might Eleven. valued okay, or good. not may have more Junior, to do with their relationship with their peers years. than it has to do with the adults. Mm. Mm. Who says that? I mean, it's under the section that says That's students have a close so relationship so. with at least one adult. And then, so if being a valued member of my school, are, are the respondents thinking that being valued is solely coming from their relationship with adults? Or, oh. I mean, I think middle schoolers will feel valued or not based on their relationship with their peers as much, if not more, than their relationships with adults. If that question was, do you feel like you're valued by adults in the school, I think that conscious. would be more supportive of that heading about students having a close relationship mm -hmm. with adults yeah. or not. Whereas I think about like middle schoolers and their relationships. And well, and that's, um, I wrote, this suggests a closer look into what the students were considering yeah. when responding to those questions. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right, so I'll, I'll stop it right there. And uh, what was the? We'll just one? yeah go from there. Yeah, okay. They interpret. So it's I like feel member. like a valued member of my school, right? My school. I mean, I was thinking about issues too. I think. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, I think. What were you thinking? Just so confident. Students. Yeah. If you're not a confident, like a yeah. middle school, that hits hard, right? And you're like, oh, I don't think I'm that important. <coughs> or I'm scared to say something. So yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I do think it's interesting. It's yeah. good for us yeah. to try to include more student voice, and this is an opportunity for that, or suggest that we should do that. Okay, tuition students. So this is kind of exciting. Yeah. I don't even, I don't have this year's numbers yet, I don't think. Do I? Nope. Sorry, I was going to do that. I think it's up from there, too. Yeah. Christy was going to, no, it wasn't Christy. I was going to get them to me, but she was just doing them. 
So I tried to give a little bit of a history. Um, I have all of that. Oh, so I did put a link in there. That's uh, that Mary was so kind to check my numbers. <laughs> There's just one discrepancy, right? Wasn't there just one or two? Well, you know what it was? I did, and I, f I think I fixed it because I didn't add school. the stuff from the bottom, the outliers. Oh, okay. The, the totals. Because the totals don't always add up just from, the, from those rows because they might, if they have asterisks, then there's one, two, or three students to add. Right. Is there any way to get the numbers? I don't know if this would even make sense. Like that Whitcomb and South Royalton were getting before the merger. Because oh. that would be interesting if we're getting a lot more people. Well, of course, Chelsea still had a high school. Right? It's in That's Rochester. True, yeah. Rochester did as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I guess that wouldn't work. Right, I would, you might not. That's true. In, in the third paragraph, yeah. um, because it is a true. new paragraph, yeah. I would think it might be good. Um, to put the number of tuition student, wait, no, which paragraph are I looking at? Oh, no, the next paragraph. In the first year of the merger, students primarily came from the towns of Chelsea and Sharon. Yeah. Because it is a new paragraph, I think maybe the word tuition in front of students in the first year of the merger, oh. tuition students yeah. primarily came. Thank you. Otherwise, it's a little confusing. Mm. Yeah. Well, again, it's... We understood the, as our in-house language, but yeah. yeah. Right. No, no, I appreciate that because I think it's interesting to have Randolph listed here because those aren't tuition students; those are school of choice students. Which yeah, that's interesting. Oh. And that that probably is worth putting in too. How many school choice? Kids what was that? Do we get I mean, well. School many. choice kids are different than tuition. So yes, they the are. There's the Valley School of Choice, which is what Randolph. Right. Because the money. At least I. Yeah. Unless it's like. Families paying tuition to send their kids here. Mm -hmm. I don't think a thing. A chart that's well, I thought linked. Andrew talked about that before. Like sometimes there's a parent that lives in one town and. Oh, but so then that's, it. That's different. That's oh, that, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. This is if you live in Randolph, which has a public school, right. so they can't tuition their students right. out. Right. There's a program where you can apply to go. Oh, yeah. It's only like once a year. It's in December or whatever. Yeah. yeah. March. Oh, it's at the beginning March. of the year. Is it March yeah. or whenever it is? It's a lot of yeah. Well, it's we lottery don't lottery get very system, many yeah. from Randolph, so. <laughs> I think it was back in 2020. See if I can get those numbers. Big event in Randolph. I can add that, yeah. Andrew. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I thought we had more kids doing that. This year, I think there are, was it last year or this year? From Randolph, that one. But I thought we were like four, really? six. Really? Wow. Year, but and then how many did we how many did we lose on right. school choice i wonder well i was wondering that too is that are those numbers i know that in the past oh, yeah. we've no, had those those numbers at least a couple at Woodstock. every year to the schools and to the counselor the board should have those i would think we talk be about interesting. it every year when we reauthorize the program right in december so i don't remember what That's they right. are but those have to be in by january or something so um anyway yeah we can go back and look But they, but the board sets, you know, parameters around how many yeah. people can go. I mean, there's a minimum. But and their money doesn't have to follow let your them, right? High school be decimated. Right. There's no money. That there's no money sense. that follows them. Doesn't so follow. there's really no incentive for us to be no. asking right. them to come. It seems like a really, really strange program that the money doesn't go with them. Yeah. But the if money doesn't go. Well, I don't remember. Do they? We, do we get to count? Do you get to count them though? Who counts them? Yeah, the sending some, school something counts. Like that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you wouldn't. It's want, crazy. It is, but at the same time, like, we don't want to be poaching. Have right. Exactly. Other towns trying poaching from us, and us trying right. to poach from other towns. Right. That's, I mean, the school choice already you know, drives. Yeah. You know, costs up as yeah. schools are competing for students, but. It was okay. expanded to anything. So there's that little chart, and then I have the detailed piece um, linked in. Then there's technology. 
This so, is You've been busy, Susan. So um, yeah. In the tuition student report, I'm assuming some of these students, like West Pollitt and Rutland, are probably doing the online classes. Yeah. That I don't I know. know that. <laughs> well, I know that because when I proctored an AP exam, one of the students that came to take the exam in statistics was from Got it. West Pollitt. Yeah, I don't know. That was not given to me. It's probably just about... Some. Money, you know, like <laughs> that. That should be clarified. Yeah, West Pollard. Mm -hmm. oh, it no. should be, you think? Well, just because, like, that's confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. They're say. not getting yeah, transportation one. over here it's every day, or whatever. Right, yeah. it's different. Like, I'm remembering that we had a couple of kids like on our rosters that were like we never ever had in the yeah. building. Yeah, who are they? Yeah, yeah. they're accessing. The BTBLC or not? Yeah. It, well, it yeah. says. Why up, aren't they up, doing that from their own tongue? That's what I don't understand. I don't either. I think... I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jamie. Maybe because they don't <laughs> have Dear someone Jamie. qualified to teach at that level. Because yeah, this was longer. Yeah, my AP statistics. As much as it gets shorter, <laughs> it keeps getting longer. Oh, we had <laughs> access to it through their <laughs> town and can enroll in our school and have access to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mary, I'm going to add to that. Geeseville. Um, that's in, like, Starbridge. Yeah. Confusing. That's confusing. Oh, see, you I hate this. I can't add to that, can I? If you live in Gaysville, you know. Oh, that doc? Really? Oh, I thought it was part of it was part of it. Wait, isn't Gaysville part yeah. of Stockton? That's what I thought. I don't know why that's called out separately. It is, it's its own hamlet. If, if you live there, I had a friend that lived there, and your kids can go anywhere. They don't I mean, go to Stockbridge well, Elementary? Maybe they don't technically call themselves Well, Stockbridge. you can go to Stockbridge, but for high school or whatever. Oh, well, you yeah, know. for yeah. high school, yeah. But I don't know why they would... Put out, put that separate Gaysville separate because it, it is a hamlet of Stockbridge. Yeah, it's a hamlet. Gaysville is one student probably. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that would be know. like putting East Bethel and yes. Gilead yeah. and yeah. Lilliesville <laughs> separately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. It's interesting. I'm, I'm confused because Ray had sent me uh, tuition student numbers, and these are different than what he sent me. Anyway. Did you hear that, Suzette? Because no. we were cross-referencing both of those documents, trying to make sure the numbers were accurate. Yeah. Ray's numbers being different than those on the chart. Andrew was I got these from the business manager. Okay. I'm going to take yeah. them from the no, business No, that's probably manager. the way to go, because mm -hmm. that's people who are actually paying us. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, whereas Ray, I think, was doing it from some other method. Well, I know Suzette cross-referenced those. I'm just trying to figure that out. Interesting. Well, if these are from the business manager. Maybe there were a couple students from Randolph that were paying us. What are the colors? Like, why are some of them gray? Are those just zeros? No. Oh, some um, gray. It means they... It, it says on the, the top upper right Oops. of it. Oh, I'm on <laughs> page two. Okay, gotcha. It does seem like we're on a holding steady or maybe increasing a little bit. That's good. Tuition students. I guess yeah, well, they help. big jump in the last they, year, but like we'll see if that holds. A lot. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and I don't know what this year's this year's is. I bet it's hot because we have a bunch. But. Yeah, my sense is that it's Yeah. Well didn't we get eight out of ten Rochester kids this year? Yeah, we have for the middle we school. We had to make a whole. We had to reorganize our whole team. So yeah, because there's so many. Yeah, so I'll get those numbers. She was just putting them together. Okay, technology. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna add this right here. So is your sentence where it says they identified a need for classes that teach students how to effectively use the technology they have access to? Is that what you're talking about with coding? Um, where? It's like the second to last sentence of that section. Second to last sentence? Probably coding. That's probably where you meant. 
or is that they referring to teachers? Okay, I don't know where you are. Second to last, or last paragraph of that section. In technology, generally technology. speaking, students at both the middle high schools were provided. Teachers were supportive of technology offered to them and to their students. We also called for so more input from staff and students to make decisions. The need for classes that teach students how to effectively use the technology they have access to. Um, they're basically saying that they're, you know, using slides and and uh, word, which is not word, but um, and that there's so much more they could do with their machines mm -hmm. that they're not using mm -hmm. because they don't know. But but um, but I think that part of that problem is just that the teachers don't know that either. So the content, and maybe this is wrong, but content-related technology, just thinking that, you know, if it's a science department that needs a 3D printer, the language department doesn't need that, but they might, there might be something else that they would be more technology-oriented, or maybe their AI stuff, and, you know, talking about those kinds of things. So, you know, what, what particular types of technologies are more, um, are found in, in what content areas? I mean, everybody doesn't need a 3D printer. My son has several. <laughs> really? He makes everything for his son. Every, you know, train pieces, Lego pieces. He just does it. Wow. He writes his codes. He's an elementary school principal. That's fun. He used to be my retirement because he was going to be an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> And then he followed in my footsteps of poor child. Anyway, yeah, but it's pretty amazing what he manages to do. Is it so routine now that all students have um, Chromebooks or whatever that we don't even need to talk about that? Or is that like is that the case at all schools now that students yeah, are given? Yeah, that's a... my. I mean, there was. I, I'm assuming. Okay. I don't know that. I know that there was a you know there was a complaint in the faculty one about chargers and. Being short of that, and 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 ref the district refusing to buy earbuds for oh, yeah, the testing, earbuds. and I said, they the dirty laundry. But um, so I'm not really sure. Okay. You ask Ray about. And it. then there were a <laughs> there were a couple of a uh, couple of folks that were, and I had this in my district too, that where teachers were really not happy with Chromebooks. And I think that's also content I, to specific. use that as a teacher. Hmm? I saw that in the teacher comments, yeah. like yeah. That as a teacher, a Chromebook is not adequate for me. And I, you know, I mean, my thing was make use for it. Tell me what you, what you need to be doing that you can't do on this, and we'll yeah. have a conversation. Um, and I never bought one because I never, <laughs> I never got the. Mm. There, I, no, I shouldn't say that. There were, might have been a math person that needed, the, at that point, needed mm -hmm. um, better well, spreadsheets mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Something he couldn't do then on sheets, and I don't know if it, that's been upgraded or not. But how much general? I, well, I know there my, there are teachers uh, and students Mac that would love to do video making and this, have and this video equipment, with but our, this that integrates better with our technology that <laughs> they were the, looking at. If this at was set up like by the best them, was Apple technology, to begin with, from and that's something that isn't supported. That's really hard because like like but then you have to do a whole bunch of other layers of support, cost of support underneath it. But as a result, it's leaving us without the ability for kids to have access for filmmaking. And, and doing the digital stuff. Um, that is, well, that's the stuff that needs to be looked at. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's, I didn't, um, the only place here that I think that, uh, I'm going to put generally supportive of the technology offered to them, because that's really not, there were a couple. No, no, see, that's where I get caught. If you look at the graphs, they were supportive. If you read the mm -hmm. things, you yeah. know, there's one or two people that, right? Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. don't think, I'm trying to stay away from those mm -hmm. individual yeah. comments yeah. because they're yeah. just individuals. Yeah, because one person I mean, unless expressing there's a bunch of something. sort of the same that sways or adds <clears> to yeah. it, I'm, I'm personally trying. That's where I think that the ideas 
recommendations are embedded in a lot of those comments, and there's some really good mm -hmm. ideas. Yeah. yeah, I think well, that, right. It was like I told you. There's a couple instances where one staff from particular, you know, different groups, yeah. you know, like filled yeah. that. It's if not. If I worked here, I could probably. Yeah, tell it, you it wouldn't be too hard to figure <laughs> it out. I yeah. mean, the 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 trend around technology that I saw in this teacher thing was about. I don't. My Promethean isn't mm -hmm. working, yeah. and mm -hmm. the app doesn't work, and the dread fix, and I need more. So, like, I think what I saw there was, and maybe that this can be in there is like. Um, more education for the staff yep. to use the technology they already have. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, that sounds like there was a and the, um, stumble in the rollout. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Really. That's always the it. problem with new technology. <laughs> is just no. appeared. Yeah. Yes. Everybody is not teachers. That's an everybody issue. Everybody else is anxious to, to put heart. them all in the rooms <laughs> because it looks so good, but yeah. then nobody provides the training for right. the teachers so that. They actually get used. Who, who, I mean, that was true with trolley, my old school. Who lost there were trolley. two of us in the entire school that used the smart boards mm. because wow. nobody else I knew how give to. I the administrative answer. <laughs> <laughs> but technology training is very, and it should be done. Don't get me wrong, but the, but the the art the challenge is that it's long. Mm. And it's detailed, and it really, you can't kind of do it in a day because people's brains just kind of numb. And they just no turn time. to mush, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's no time. And you have all the mandated stuff you have right. to get to, so. And then you have, but you have great high-tech people in, in the building who are in Google. You know, they're teaching themselves, right? So actually, one thing we did was we ended up giving folks stipends that were those leaders that would help. Mm -hmm. People in their yeah, and that's small, a that's know, a great way of doing it. So yeah. that the training yeah. was could be done when people had time and yeah. it was mm -hmm. relevant. But it's a huge challenge. It's a huge challenge. Well, I think that those it's comments time. were really linked to the Promethean boards, like you said, because they just appeared and we they were it was very stressful for teachers to have to switch overnight, like literally overnight, be like, okay, I don't know how to project my lesson anymore. Yeah, no. everything is digital, so it was very stressful. So I think. That had happened right before we mm. took this survey, so it was hot <laughs> on people's yeah. right there, right yeah. there. Was, front of mind. It was so. the shiny red button. Yeah. yeah. Um, that so. last kind of sentence there in that paragraph, it's not That's really not a, a sentence. sentence. Yeah. Mm. Also, right. Integrated effectively. Integrate technology effectively. Well, we need a verb somewhere. I think oh. it was related to identified, maybe, up above. I don't know. Find a need for class, teach, and chooses. They yeah. also suggested access to, no. Teachers also I don't know, PD. identified. Recognized it. Yeah, just say that that's wrong. I think it might be related. worth putting teachers again here. Yeah. So we don't lose track of. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Um, teachers also. Yeah, Maybe some of this again. Small identified a. access to blah, blah, blah. Then you've got a verb in there. Get rid of the word also. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the no. also can stay. Oh, teachers also identified make access. Make it a teacher. Yeah, no, it's not really working. Mm. Because the teachers. Um, uh, no. The need for uh, access to The need, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Don't you love all of us watching you, Bert Smith, in the moment? <laughs> Sometimes I tell you, my brain just goes to mush. <laughs> it does. I used to have, when I was still working, I had two um, monitors. And doing numbers from tab to tab is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I can do that for. No, I don't. I actually, <laughs> honestly, don't know how our admin assistant for the middle school does her job all day long, looking at little. Print, hey, I got two more boxes. pages, and the mini's supposed to be over. So oh. here we go. <laughs> um, okay, so technology. So I'll try to figure that out. Parent community involvement. This was one of those that one of. The, it, three paragraphs that took an hour to do or something. Mm. It's just trying to pull all the information. 
Yeah, it was in every yeah. survey. Yeah, that was a little snippy, actually. I went back. <laughs> the very last sentence in parent and community involvement may be inappropriate. They just need to be in. Did, um, is that true that all students, faculty, and staff, and families all identified families as being actively involved in supporting school activities? Yeah. I guess so. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, and faculty and staff said a lot. There was, a, there was one particular, and I think it was the same teacher, just from the language that was being used, it was, you know, just not having good experiences with her families, but it was really seemed to be an isolated thing. Hmm. There was also one school that seemed to be a little bit more, but that stuff I don't think is helpful to be putting that out. No. Communication was different from school to school. People want to be digging around. I mean, I look at that in terms of yeah. the next the next level of, of uh, analysis and how are the schools and the district going to respond to this information. Well, you, you look at the, it's, it's kind of interesting, you look at the, the uh, I think it was the bottom of the flexible pathways or somewhere in that, how the, the, what we mandated, we had the clubs that talked about it, all the things, but you want to scream from the rooftops, like, and even here, like, we have, we have well, we, we talk about Spanish, we, mm -hmm. you know, or world language and, and different things, and we have, um, you know, kitchen shortages, sub shortages, you know, like there's all these gaps that we're just trying to fill nowadays and it's what everybody wants to be involved. <laughs> Do, well, we gotta I don't know if they're willing. They, there are many folks who are ready and want to be actively engaged in their schools. Yeah. Like, are they actually willing? <laughs> well, know. no, but, I, the, but also we talked about the barriers too. Like you have to go through the checks. You have to, you know, like. In the family survey, was that where the names were? It's not, the it's not like the old days yeah. where you could just show yeah. up, you right. know. Yeah. True that, yeah. And then school yeah. structures. If you could take a look at that. Oops, Aaron. Yeah, yeah I mean, just kind of like I did some work on the. Oh, thank you. So they're really like when you look at the data um, for the faculty survey, the staff and faculty survey, like the the respondents from the elementary schools overwhelmingly. The overall response was uh, um, for separate elementary schools was sort of 50-50. But if you look at the respondents that are actually from the elementary schools, it's pretty pretty strong. Lee. I'm looking at that question. How'd you now. get that? So yes, you go you're to looking at school structures and things. Faculty and staff survey, look at single question, and then go to serving students from Bethlehem Royalton and separate. Student, is it in student structures? I'm in there. I just can't get out of there. Are you in the spreadsheet or the. Um, oh, no, survey? I'm just in the spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, if you go to the spreadsheet, you'll. Well, where'd my little thingy go? So looking at it, the high school top. actually has. Top. More strongly disagree than the elementary school. Well, about really? the same, but oh disagree. Wait, where are you guys looking in the survey itself, or the? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the bar. Okay, that thing. That thing. But yeah, the middle school seems strongly in favor of separate elementary crap campuses. And the elementary and the high school staff. Seems to be more strongly in favor of separate. Royalton. Royalton is strongly disagrees with serving students from both Bethlehem Royal. The high school Bethlehem. or the elementary students disagree with that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the high school also is because the I don't know is a huge section. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and it there was a bunch almost that seems like it's more of a Royalton-Bethel split versus a yeah. Well, I think there's that's also pretty strong too. If in just in the um, the elementaries, yeah. 
Broylton Elementary seems more in favor of Sorry, it took me in. more in favor of one elementary than the Bethel campus is. Right. Hmm. Um, which is interesting because depending on because the I mean I think so many of the res the comments the respondents they're they're the, the faculty's uh, um, idea of what would be the solution would be for the both elementaries to be in Bethel. So you wouldn't think royalty would, would, would be in support of that. But I yeah. guess this faculty doesn't matter as much as the families, you know, as far yeah. as traveling. Mm -hmm. but, um, but also I did do work with the comments and it, and it supported this. Like it was, you know, it, I went through the comments and, and kind of I made a, a account and you know if you look through the like school structure comment this uh, this this question serving students from Bethlehem then there's at the end of the school structure there's like additional comments and there were 19 comments nine of them were negatively speaking about um, separate elementary schools five of them were negatively speaking about sharing administrators or principal so like five yeah, of them there was a lot on that yeah I remember mm -hmm. And, and, and that comes up more, you know, like, but in that particular one, it's like, there's a lot, you know, like that's, and, and there's, n we don't have a question, we have a question about shared staff, but not specifically, I don't know who all the shared staff are, like, are there staff that are shared between like high school, middle school and elementary? Mm -hmm. I think there's music mm -hmm. that music and music and oral. are shared that way. Well, yeah, essentials. Yeah. Yeah. Admin but it, it does seem like I kind of forget that we, like, I don't know. The administrator question is like kind of a different one than it's, like the shared. Yeah, yeah. because you don't know if stuff. that's what they're talking about. But there are, you know, there were a decent number of comments. There's Unless they said I never can feel connected or in touch with the administrator, like it wouldn't be linked to the... I'll go back and look. I may give you a call or email you. Yeah, I can right share. I made a. Um, I made a spreadsheet Ooh, that I can I'm give sure you. That yep, that I can awesome. share it with you. And just because I remember, I did go. I did look at those, and then it was like, and some of it, I think I, I tapped it down a little bit because um, some of it felt like inside politics. Yeah. Yeah, and so. You know, so, so I was trying to. Yeah, and I think with the spreadsheet, then you can look and you can see, like, okay, how many of those comments were from the same person mm, yeah. over and over mm. again or whatnot. <laughs> so it'll, it'll help break it down a little bit okay. without going too crazy. Because it, it is, I mean, it's just, you know, when we ask people to comment, I feel like then it's a lot of responsibility to try to, like, actually make use of those comments because it's not, yeah. not nearly as easy. Yeah, but. <laughs> But but um yeah so I'm going to I'm going to try to do that with the at least the parent one too and see if there's any trends in there. Okay, that would be really good. And, you know. Awesome. All right. Um I was just looking the at the rest that. of this okay? Does this you, does this get to the structure pieces that you were talking that you were concerned about? Okay. Um where you have you have a choice both for the middle school and the high school like although not as popular with families what do you mean by that I think I don't They quite. were they there were family but plenty there was a significant number of families that were saying that they didn't um they didn't like them together Was that the comments yeah. or um, was it the responses Having the middle school with the high school, they didn't want that. Is that the point you're making? No. Well, there were oh. two, there I were guess two I understand. There was the structure, meaning 6 8 as opposed to 5 8 or something. Yeah. Oh, I see. And I then see. there was the combining them. So in the family, only 53% of the folks thought that combining them, families thought that that was a good idea. Combining the two and towns. And 62% huh. for the high okay. school. You know, in the 80s for the kids. Yeah. I think that because it is more than half of them, this sounds more negative, although not as popular with families. More than half the families were happy with it. Well, yeah. but I have extended. I had said it. It's it. To take, I can do that. Um, or or leading with the popular and then adding in. Talked the, about it being popular with kids where. You finish 
each par each little paragraph with that. Students yeah, were very I, supportive. I just think that to lead off with that, it oh, sounds I like see. it was really I negative. Did, so I did put it there, but maybe lead okay. with a positive or something. Yeah. Do you want me to leave you a note? Yes, please. Yeah, I yeah. would think, no, that, I would think just good. flipping it around. No, 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 no. That's good. You know, students we, were overwhelmingly right. Under the, where in the, in the bold, the school structures and transitions, do we really, do we need, there were a, a few residents who expressed re, regret regarding the act of merging the school districts. I mean, we know there was hard feelings, but. I think it's fine to include. I thought I was okay. to Yeah, no, you did. You acknowledged it after yeah. that it, it's been a success. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think we want to do the thing where it's like, please tell us what you think, and then right. you know, <laughs> right. what people yeah. say, you know. Yeah. No, I'm just asking the question, that's fine. No, that's what we need. Okay. You're giving me enough to do, I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, thank you, Susan. Yeah. 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 How, how did you ever get roped into this? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm asking myself that every day. It's really interesting, it's funny, because I just, oh. But it's just, it's so slow. I can't, yeah. I can't mm. make it go faster. That's no. the part that's making me crazy. It's just a data yeah. juggernaut. It yeah. Is. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I have a lot of, you know, just how the systems work that I bring to the table. But the transportation, and, you know, so there's some things that I just, I don't have it's hard back and forth. specific I, to you. I like the idea yeah. of so Andrew, separate. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow's crazy. Early next because, week. Because my cats were all pushed in together. Yeah. yeah. School. Did we actually yeah. adjourn? Oh, yeah. seventh oh, grader. I make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Yes. Second. I second. All right. Yeah.